One of the questions I get most frequently asked about decluttering as a personal organization expert is, how do I get my family on board? Or how do I get my family to help maintain the system that I set up? Because I feel kind of resentful that I do all the work. Hi, I'm Rebecca Saltzman, personal organization expert, and I run the Journey to Organization membership where I help people all over the world declutter and get organized. In this week's Parshat, Parshat Ve'et Hanan, Moshe talks about the Ten Commandments and how the new land of Israel will be divided up between the tribes. By taking the example from Moshe of telling everybody where they go, we can help our families by setting up systems so that our families know where things go. By giving all the objects in our home a place to live, we are setting up systems for our family to be able to maintain so that they can move forward with our organizational systems. It's a lot easier to keep things in their places when you know where they go. Second way for you to get your family on board, just repeat the rules. Be a broken record. Even though at this stage, collectively, the Jewish people have had the Torah for 39 years, none of this generation was actually at Sinai. So it makes sense that Moshe would need to repeat the Ten Commandments because even though people have been honoring them all this time, we sometimes need to hear exactly how things are supposed to be just so we can really internalize them. Sometimes you just need to give a refresher and repeat yourself. Now I hate repeating myself and it's really annoying when I have to repeat myself over and over and over and over again to my family. But you know what? Sometimes it's necessary. It's not that they don't understand what to do on the first time. It's that they need the constant reminder. Once things become rote for them, it will be easier for them to maintain. But if you're undoing a lot of bad habits, it's going to take time to undo them. And in the meantime, you're going to have to repeat yourself. It's no fun to repeat yourself and it's no fun to feel like you're the only one participating in keeping the family organized. When you set up the system of organization, you're going to have to repeat yourself a lot less because once people understand where things go, it makes life a lot easier. Here's a couple of tips on how to organize some of the things in your house. Number one, once you find some place to put everything, that's where it always goes. Number two is once that becomes the spot for something, label it. When things are labeled, it's easy for them to figure out where things go because even if they're not the ones regularly putting it away, they can see where it goes. And number three, repeat yourself. Tell your family this is what you expect for them and divide up the division of labor. Work with your family instead of just asking them to do something for you. Because when you're doing something at the same time as them, it feels a lot less intrusive than saying, hey, do this. And finally, focus on the progress that your family is making. Sitting there and feeling resentful about the things that are not happening is not going to move you forward. But if you think about the things that are happening and try to focus on that and compliment your family on that, you're going to see it's going to move things forward in your house a lot faster than if you would just focus on the negative. Because when you focus on the negative, you're just feeling bad all the time that nobody's participating and nobody's helping you and everything seems really, really hard. But when you focus on the small little wins that you have, it makes it a lot easier to be like, hey, this is working. What are you doing to get your family on board? Leave me a comment and let me know. Shabbat Shalom.